Hey everyone, Camille here from 88 Fitness Training. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the proper form for some of the most popular arm exercises. So I'm going to take you through several bicep exercises as well as tricep moves and I'll show you the proper form, techniques, and tips that you need to know as you go about lifting. So stay tuned, check it out. real good all right thanks for sticking around so this video was actually a special request from one of our subscribers Keenan he asked us to film some of the most popular exercises that you see done at the gym and show the proper form for them so whether you're a beginner or even intermediate sometimes doing a form check is really imperative especially if muscle growth is your goal so let's go ahead and jump into some of these most popular exercises. First up, I'm gonna show you a barbell curl. So this is one of the most basic bicep exercises you can do. If you're looking to increase the size of those guns, you definitely got a barbell curl. So let me show you how to do it. So I've got a standard 45 pound bar here. I'm just gonna grab it. Uh, right at shoulder width. So just let your arms naturally hang down and this is where you grab the bar. And then the first thing we're gonna do is to apply tension to the bicep. So right now I'm dead hang. So I wanna come up a little bit so my biceps are engaged. Hopefully you can see the difference. Dead hang, biceps engaged, just like that. All right, once your biceps are engaged, you're gonna start flexing at the elbow, bringing the arms up. We're gonna give it a good squeeze at the top, and then we're gonna lower slow. The biggest mistake people can make on this one is just not keeping those biceps engaged the entire time, and then using excessive, excessive momentum to get this bar up. Another thing that people do is not keeping the hands in line with the forearms. We wanna keep them in line. We don't want the bar uh, drooped down like that. So keep those forearms engaged, and squeeze. So you probably want about two seconds coming up, two second squeeze, and then four second lowering, right? So that eccentric portion is so important. There's really three phases for the lift, y'all. And if you're looking to gain muscle size, you need to focus on all three parts, right? So there's the concentric part, the lifting part. You want about two seconds coming up. There's the isometric part, that's the squeeze. Again, two seconds. And then for the lowering, the eccentric part, we want about four seconds. So you are definitely stronger in that eccentric or negative portion of the rep. So take your time. So again, most common mistake is just the excessive momentum. And when you're doing this, you're not really squeezing your biceps. So you're not really getting anything out of it. You want that time under tension, nice, slow, and controlled. So grab that barbell, just that shoulder width, have your feet, you know, nice and planted, stable, slight bend in the knees, put load on that bicep, come up, squeeze, keeping the wrist in line with the forearms, and then lower back down slow. All right, y'all, barbell curls. Next up, we have a hammer curl. So you're gonna need a set of dumbbells for this one. And the hammer curl is a really great one, y'all. So if you're looking to build up that grip strength, forearm strength, and brachialis, then this is definitely for you. And if you're not sure what a brachialis is, it's the muscle that sits underneath the biceps and it's responsible for that width and thickness to the arm. So you definitely wanna do hammer curls. All right, so we're gonna grab the dumbbells, palms facing in. We're gonna lock the elbow into this place. And then we're gonna bring them up, squeezing, just like this. Nice stable stance, slight bend in the knees. And you really wanna control that motion. Just like the other ones, take your time coming up, squeeze, and then lower slow. The biggest mistake people make with this is excessive swinging, raw. Like if you're doing this, you're using momentum to get it up, your biceps and your brachialis really aren't working. So you have to fix those elbows in place and squeeze. You also wanna make sure that you're not coming cross body with these as you come up. And you don't wanna have excessive arch in your back either as you come up. So keep a nice neutral spine, standing nice and tall, 
and squeeze those arms. But definitely do hammer curls. I don't see people do this enough. And as beginners, intermediate, it's important, especially if you're trying to build arm size and have those strong forearms and grip. So definitely get the hammer curls in, nice palms at your side, elbows in a fixed space, come up, squeeze, just like that. All right, y'all, hammer curls. Next up, we have your traditional dumbbell curls. So grab your set, nice stable stance, just like the barbells, we don't wanna be at dead hang. We want tension on that biceps by having a slight bend in the elbow, and then we're gonna come up, squeezing the bicep, lowering back down slow, just like this. In fact, I think I filmed a video a while ago and it was like a bicep curl challenge. I challenge you to lean up against a wall and then do these from that position because it took out the potential for any type of momentum. And I guarantee you, if you did them that way, you, the weight that you could curl was significantly reduced. So definitely pay attention to that mind muscle connection in the form when doing the dumbbell bicep curl. Make sure you have tension on those biceps and that you're coming all the way up and getting max contraction before lowering back down. And whatever you do, don't go to dead hang, right? So we wanna maximize time under tension by applying load to that bicep the entire time. And so definitely, if it means dialing that weight back, that's what you have to do to hit the perfect form. But it definitely makes a big difference. Nobody wants to go to the gym and just waste a bunch of time doing curls that don't mean something. So definitely focus on that mind-muscle connection, time under tension, and applying load to those biceps. Let's move on to tricep exercises. So one of the most common tricep exercises is gonna be a tricep push down. So for this, you're usually at some type of cable tower. You have a straight bar like this, and then you're grabbing it, and pushing straight down, really squeezing those triceps. All right, so for this one, you want a nice stable stance, slight bend in the knees. You're gonna pull this down until your elbows are at your sides, just like this. And then once they're at your sides, we're gonna keep them there. And then we're gonna push straight down, getting that contraction on the tricep heads. So just like that. So a common mistake people do is they have floating elbows. So see how my elbows are moving positions just like this? This is basically the same thing as using momentum to push that bar down. So keep the elbows locked at the sides and then push down. This ensures that you have load on the tricep the entire time and that you're not making it a multi-joint exercise. Tricep push downs are intended to be an isolation exercise. All right, another common mistake people make is the wrist position. So sometimes as they come down, the wrist flips upwards like this. You wanna keep those hands in line with the forearms as you come down so you can hit max contraction. So just like this versus like this. So try it. If you don't believe me, do a little experiment. Do tricep extensions with the wrist turned up and then try them with the wrist down. Guarantee it's gonna burn a whole heck of a lot more. All right, another mistake people make is with the thumbs. Now you might wanna try it different ways, but typically when you have the thumbs wrapped around the bar, you're getting a lot of forearm activation. So if you want to get rid of that forearm activation and really isolate the triceps, remove that thumb out of there, and now you're more focused on the triceps versus the forearms. Only caveat being, as you start pushing down a lot of weight, you probably need to hook the thumbs so you don't accidentally slip off the bar. But if you're still pretty light or moderate weight and you can control it, definitely get rid of those thumbs. It makes it more of a tricep isolation exercise. And then lastly, there's different ways you can do this. I showed you overhand, but you can also hit underhand, which again, really hits the triceps and isolates them pretty well. So give it a try, see what you think. Next up, we have an overhead tricep extension. So for this one, we have a rope. It's set up up high. We're just gonna grab this, take a few steps out, bend slightly at the waist, and extend those arms up just like this. 
So you definitely have to lean forward quite a bit just to be able to clear uh, your face and your head there. But a common mistake people make in this one is flaring the elbows out excessively while doing this. If you really want the tension on those triceps, you have to keep them pretty tucked inward and then push the rope out. Now, this is probably the most common way I see overhead tricep extensions done at the gym. But if you've been following James and I for a while, you know that there's a really great way that we like to do these. And it's by dropping this cable head right down to about waist height and then doing these straight overhead. So just like this. So with this form or this variation of the overhead tricep extension, you get a lot more stretch on those triceps, just like this. So before we were kind of leaned forward, we got you know decent stretch on the tricep, but this is extreme. You really have all of those muscles stretched while under load, which is the best recipe for muscle growth, y'all. So to set this up once again, you really want the cable at about waist or hip height. In fact, I'm gonna lower it down just one, just like this. You grab the handles, put it around your back, and you do have to be careful. You know, if you're moving a lot of weight, that can be kind of cumbersome and hard to swing around like that. So stay pretty close to the cable, stretch down, come up and squeeze. And just like before, don't flare those elbows super wide and do these. Keep them rotated inward and squeeze. Taking your time, just like all the other exercises, you want that time under tension. So two second lift, squeeze, four second eccentric, just like that, all over again. But the beauty of this one, there is no rest. Because the starting position already has the triceps under load, you are feeling it that entire time and it burns y'all It's super, super duper burns. So definitely try this variation out. Hopefully you know how to do it now. All right. And last up for your triceps, I have dips. It is the upper body squat of exercises, if you will. And one of the best for building tricep mass. So whether you do them from a uh, bench, parallel bars, dip stand, doesn't really matter. You know, you gotta start somewhere and work your way up, but it's a really fantastic exercise. So I'm gonna show you the bench version of this. We're gonna go ahead, sit down. We're gonna place our arms just outside of our hips here, so at shoulder width. Uh, so palm flat on the bench, kind of curl your fingers around the edge, and then we're gonna take a step out, just like this. Now, if your feet are stretched all the way out, this is gonna be a harder version. If you're not quite there yet, you can always pull the feet in to assist you a little bit. But assuming you're good to go, stretch those feet out. Now we're gonna bend at the elbow, coming down until we're about 90 degrees, and then back up, squeezing the tricep, just like this. Now, a common mistake people make is going way too deep, right? If you go too deep, it's placing the shoulders in a very compromised position. So make sure you're only coming to about 90 degrees of elbow flexion there. All right, just like that and back up. Another common mistake people make is their back starts to float really far away from that bench. So see how far away my back is in this position? We wanna back it up so we're almost touching that bench as we come down. So just like this. All right, and so when you do these, you want a nice upright torso. You don't want excessive forward lean because that's gonna recruit chest muscles and chest activation into the exercise. And so if our goal is triceps, we wanna be straight up and straight down. So straight up, straight down, no forward lean. All right, y'all, so there you have it. That's the basic form for your dips. So go ahead, get to dipping. The upper body squat gives you that tricep mass. All right, let's cap this video, y'all. Today I took you through several exercises and showed you the proper form for those exercises. We started with barbell curls. So again, with the barbell curls, one of the key points was not going dead at the bottom and actively engaging that bicep during the entire range of motion. And definitely, definitely, whatever you do, don't use any momentum to get that barbell up. And that might mean taking a while to progressive overload, and that's okay. 
Like you don't have to come in and be adding 20, 30 pounds to your barbell every single time. So incrementally add that weight and over time you're gonna get stronger and be able to handle that weight. From there, I showed you the hammer curl. If you remember, the hammer curl was really great for that brachialis and those forearm muscles. So it helps improve grip and also is responsible for giving you that bicep thickness. So with the hammer curls, definitely straight up, straight down, keeping those elbows at your side, making sure you're not doing any kind of cross body or excessive swinging to get those dumbbells up. All right, from there, we did the traditional old uh, dumbbell curl. So with this one, again, you wanna lock your elbows at your sides, keep tension on that bicep, and come straight up, giving it a good squeeze, and back down. And if you're not quite sure if you can handle that weight, try the bicep challenge. This means just you know backing up to a wall and trying it, it prevents you from using any momentum at all. So really fun challenge. Guarantee you're gonna be humbled if you try that. You know, what you thought you could probably curl, you can't. So definitely check it out. Uh, from there, we moved into some of the popular tricep exercises. We start with the tricep push down. Now with that one, it was really important to have a fixed elbow position for you start. You don't wanna have those arms floating up and down as you're doing the tricep extension. And then we also wanna be very mindful of the wrist position, right? We don't want those wrists flipped up. We want them down and uh, in line with the forearm the entire time. And then definitely check out the thumb positioning, right? So if you truly want tricep isolation, don't wrap the thumb around the bar, keep it on top. If you get really heavy and you need that stability, then wrap the thumb in. It incorporates some of the forearm, uh, but still really effective tricep exercise. All right, from there we went to the overhead uh, tricep extensions. Uh, remember, you have to hinge at the hip a little bit and you wanna keep the elbows tucked in pretty good as you come out and squeeze the tricep and extend. But another really great variation for this is when you actually drop that pulley head to just uh, around hip height and then you go straight up and straight down, giving you a superior stretch on those triceps while under load. All right, and then last but not least, we did bench dips. So remember in the dips, you don't wanna go too deep. You wanna keep your uh, upper arm at about 90 degrees parallel from the floor. Uh, you also wanna make sure that your back is not floating too far away from that pad as you do the exercise because doing so places extreme stress on those shoulders. So if all you can feel during your dips is your shoulders, definitely check out that position and how deep you're going with the depth. All right, well, there you have it. So I took you through several popular exercises that you commonly see at the gym, showed you the proper form, and gave you some tips and techniques. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out our other ones in our arm playlist, Bicep and Tricep. And always, you can join us live at 12 Eastern. Uh, it's your opportunity to interact with me and James and ask us any questions that you may have in real time. But thank you for this request, Keenan. We appreciate your requests. Keep them coming. If there's any topics or things that you want to know about, just drop us a line and we'll get that filmed for you. All right, y'all. 88 Fitness Training. Like and subscribe.